Gangnam Monster. Look at that! No fucking way! I don't know what word this is. Go ahead, show us. I hate this guy. Not possible. It's not possible. Yo! Yo! <laughs> you've all been waiting for the class trial. trial okay you remember where to meet right? right please go through the red door on the first floor of the school okay <laughs> see you soon oh thank this bring me a red door it's right through there can i leave <laughs> well, let me leave <laughs> I was curious to see what what would happen if I did that. <sighs> Let's go. I'm prepared for this though. Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! Am I blind or are we missing someone? Yep, yep Toko's not here. Huh? And Toko is. You really don't remember? Come on. <laughs> kidding! I'm just kidding. How could I forget that little nut? <laughs> Yo. She's a crucial part of the class trial this time. What are you gonna do? Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her out of her here kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. And just like he said a few minutes later, he reappeared, dragging Toko behind him. I I told him I didn't didn't want to, but he, he forced me. I can't believe you would drag drag a girl here. <laughs> terrible, you're terrible. I'm tired of Toko. I <laughs> So now everyone's here, right? Okay, then hustle on to the elevator and let's get this show on the road. I'll see you guys down here. There. Let's go. So, shall we get going? Some this dude Togami, though, I don't like him taking charge. This is also going to be an interesting class trial because last time it was more so me trying to defend myself from everyone accusing me. Because everyone thought point was pointing fingers at me. I had to prove I wasn't the killer and that someone else was. In this case, I have to show who the killer is and show evidence and whatnot so and so the current opened once again a deadly judgment a deadly deception a deadly betrayal a deadly riddle a deadly de deadly defense a deadly faith a deadly class trial <laughs> want to use any of those i'm i feel pretty good with this case <laughs> about to mess up though <laughs> first we have to make clear what was used to deliver the fatal blow we already know what that was it was a dumbbell Make your argument. Do I have to do like the thingy with the wheel? Nope. Chihiro's fatal injury. Okay. It appears it was a head wound. According to the Monokuma file, the killer used a blunt instrument. I missed it. What kind of blunt instrument could it have been? Oh, I need to make a contradiction. My mistake. I forgot. <laughs> I bet it was an iron pipe. There we go. No, what made you say that? I bet it was an iron pipe. Can we agree that the object that dealt the fatal blow was the dumbbell? Nice. The the nice, nice, Makoto. It was covered in blood. And there was nothing else at the scene that could have caused that kind of injury. And the wound on the victim's head is consistent with the shape of the mm -hmm. dumbbell. Yep, thanks as for the backup, as I'm Kyoko. Concerned, there's no mistake and no room for mm -hmm. doubt on this one. 100%. Although, I believe the criminal behind this heinous act this is dude. already quite clear. Hero's killer is the fiendish serial killer, Genocide Jack. Of course. We all know that. The fiendish serial killer. But did he really kill Chihiro? A new alma has been added to the non-stop debates. Would you like to hear more? Yeah, please. Okay, okay, so I can switch between silencer and non-silencer. The culprit is Genocide Jack. I'm sure of that. Case closed, as far as I'm concerned. But that's impossible! What? What makes it impossible? Well, I mean... Let me let this play out, though. There's just no proof for it. There is proof for it, though. Hey, so, speaking of genocide, yeah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Dude. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's the ending. Okay.
I might know one reason he could be involved. Speak up, Makoto. What? I found this file while I was looking around the archive in the library. Yeah, the one that Togami didn't want anyone to go into for so long. I guess it's some kind of confidential file the police put together about the Genocide Jack case. Hmm. What? That's kind of weird as shit, isn't it? What was something like that doing in the library? Mm, Togami, you want to speak up, man? It is probably more trouble than it's worth. There appear to be two defining characteristics in every Genocide Jack case. Not for Genocide Jack case. The first is that a bloody message is found written at the scene of every murder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Boob lust. Oh. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> this dude says, has one thing on his mind, and... And it's something that has never been made public. And what's that? Never made public? What the hell is it? Why don't you tell them, Makoto? I don't remember. Uh, oh, so the way he kills them, right? Let me say, it has to do with the position of their body. Where the murder took place, yeah. I got it! Apparently, I got it. In every genocide Jack case, I got it. the killer I suspends got it. the body in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Other than the killer, the only people who know about this are the higher ups in the police department. Yep. However, Chihiro was most definitely suspended in the same way. Mm -hmm. So, how did the culprit know about this when only high level police officials were aware of it? It's because the culprit in this case. He's the, the real, real genocide, genocide Jack. Jack. No fucking way. Genocide Jack. Yep, we got us. a killer amongst us. Yes. What a name is that? It's Toko. Nani? I like how he just bluntly says it. What? Genocide Jack's true identity is Toko, Toko. Fukawa. Mm-hmm. You lie! <laughs> what? Yeah, it's that split personality. Okay. Wait. Remember? Mm -hmm. what kind of That's actually interesting though. Of Having bloodophobia, but yet you're the killer with a split person. That's actually kind is of Toko kind genocide of cool. Jack. The answer is yes and no. Another How did he figure this out? Man. Oh wait, I have to say something in this. Hangman's Gambit. Uh, I don't know what word this is. Uh, fudge, I'm about to die. Oh, 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 skis, oh, okay, okay. Wait, 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 I know. Okay, okay, I get it. I got it. They thought that the suspect might have, what did they call this it? Dissociative. Dissociative identity disorder. I knew that word. I didn't know about schizo. Oh, okay. But still, to go and say that about Ms. Fukawa is perfectly acceptable. Huh? Toko's strange behavior after mm -hmm. seeing the body yep. is proof enough she that was she acting has a weird and her tongue was all out. Yo, lizard tongue. The one thing that shows Toko cuts with personality has to do with her behavior. Her behavior changed. I got it. You're talking about how she started acting totally different than usual, right? Yeah. That's right. Think back. She fainted when she saw Chihiro's corpse, and then, when she woke up... Uh-huh. Yeah, look at that! Just before Monokuma gave his motive speech, Toko and I had a strange conversation. She told me a most interesting wow, story. Wow, so she revealed that to him and stuff. She said, a murderous fiend lived within her, and she was afraid it could appear and attack at any time. Mm -hmm. And that trepidation is what's caused her to have such a bleak attitude. Isn't that right, Toko? Toko. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. This is all a lie. Right, Toko? <laughs> Toko. <laughs> said you wouldn't tell anyone. What? Dang. You promised. I can't mm -hmm. believe you lied. You have only yourself to blame. You came to me <laughs> Yo, with don't your care. tragic little story. I didn't ask you to. This is the real world. Not some romantic fantasy fairy tale. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> she said you'd betray me, and she was crushing on him too. Besides, you broke your promise first. Oh, there's another promise? You said that as long as you were here, no matter what, wow. you wouldn't let Genocide Jack kill anyone. But in spite of that promise... <laughs> this dude Togami sounds like a jerk still with his voice. <laughs> the opening act is nearly finished. 
All that's left is to hear from the person in question directly. Mm. The person? Yep. Y you don't mean... Yep, we want to talk to them. Toko's body suddenly lunged backwards. A huge thud echoed inside across the courtroom. But in the next second... Oh! <laughs> You're standing next to her. Ugh. You figured it out, huh? Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? I'm the ultimate murderous fiend. His tongue's so long. Or better yet, let's go with genocide Jill. What? what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, for real, Mondo, what the heck? <laughs> this is the murderous fiend, genocide Jack. This is, this is, this is beyond insane. If a secret like that came to light. Toko's life would have undoubtedly been forever ruined. Mm -hmm. So she had a very clear motive to never have that side of herself exposed. And that was to kill each person? Very, very, very interesting. But sorry, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not the culprit. What? There's Togami then. So I thought her had to be Togami because that means he's framing her. That but But something's still bothering me. What she said, I need to get some more details about all of this. Okay. Let's get more details. Because it's not her that has to be Togami. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that, but do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, yeah, what about an alibi? Now I'm talking. When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. What more proof do we need? <laughs> Yo, this whole scene. You killed her. Okay, I wanna. I know which one I want to ask. Um, modus operandi matches completely. No, that's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. I think there's a slight difference between the genocide Jack cases and this one. Huh? How is it any different? Uh oh, you don't know. Well then, human garbage, let me tell you! Man, what did I miss, too? I yeah, it's always scissors, right? Fatal injury... A gun. Yeah, For yeah, the fatal injury, yeah, because it's... Death is yeah. In the genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. Mm -hmm. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with... A pair, a pair of scissors. Of scissors. Yep. The only thing that's similar is the pose, yeah. The second difference is the to how she was suspended. The photos on other chance I can tell how she was stabbed through their hands. They were tied up. Body was posed. She was suspended. What was used to suspend her? As if, don't go around making a crap. She's right, I don't think we can tell me something about it. Yeah, I did just embarrass myself. Dang it! I'm losing health like so much. Like he's how the body was posed. What was used to suspend her? Yeah, it was the. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you remember Why what I the killer other one, used man. to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to yeah. hang her up by her wrists. Mm -hmm. What is your point? But it wasn't rope. We we determined that was a wire. Well. In all the previous Genocide Jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. The scissors! What a build-up, man. Specifically, pairs of razor-sharp scissors. I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders. Specially the designed, okay. There's a pattern there, just what? waiting to be discovered. But they're all male? Figure that out, and it'll be plain as death why I couldn't have possibly killed that little lolly girl. <laughs> Let's see. The patterns around. Yep. Yep. If you look at the names of every victim, what do you notice is. I know why she can't have kill. Yep. Is it because Chihiro was a girl? Mm. Bingo, by yep. Money. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy. But that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely. When you're forced to kill in order to survive. This dude Togami really trying to put push put points into her, but then now it's looking like it's him now. Lowly car. Lowly 
hurt. Ooh, he didn't like that. I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. Huh? And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It would make me the obvious <laughs> They said, yo, I want to do something obvious. Yo, I have my ways to kill people, but yo, I'm not stupid. I don't just use any scissors. I only use my own set of pie class. Yo. They are crazy, but their <laughs> their their insanity has logic to it. Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. Are you sure about that? Oh, what's that supposed to mean? What? Well, they got them, so <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yo, this long tongue is nasty. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? That's crazy, but. As all fingers are pointed to them being innocent. For real, yo, I had my I was I, I was with I was in the beginning pointing fingers at Toko, but then I was like, wait a second, they switching things around and I like that. One person who could have copied Genocide Jack cases, the only person who's a fan. Okay. We all know who who it is. It has to be Togami. Look at him sweating. Wow. Biakuya. It's possible or you Yakuya, could have found yeah. out, isn't it? You'd have no problem gaining access mm -hmm. to classified government documents or internal police records. This dude Togami, get him out of here! Plus, <laughs> you've already looked through the Genocide Jack file mm -hmm. before this all happened, hadn't you? Yup. Yo, he got nothing to say? Can Speak up, say Togami! I see. So now the suspicion falls on me. This dude's trying to keep it calm and collected. I respect the calm and collected mindset, but... I'm gonna be so happy if it's if once once you're out of here. <laughs> then I must ask, when would you say I began acting suspicious? Dang. Sure, must have an answer. Uh, that's... Hmm. Yeah, you you got you got some stuff, now? Makoto. When you were acting right before we discovered the body was a little strange. For me, it was just how he started taking charge and stuff. And the locker rooms, the suspicious, very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Suspicious. Yeah, I, that didn't come to mind until you showed up and said something. It seems nobody searched the locker rooms yet. Let's start with the girls' locker room. Why did he suggest the girls' locker room? <laughs> you wanted to go to the girls' locker room right away, right? Yeah, and why did... What was up with that mindset? I should have naturally thought of the boys' locker room first. Is that what you want to say? Yeah. The victim was Chihiro, a girl. Hence why I said but we, we didn't know it was them yet. Room. We didn't know it was them yet. Nothing strange about that, I'd say. What are you talking about? On the contrary, there's something very strange. Okay then, what's so strange about it? Go ahead, share with the rest. I of will, the class. man. It was a clear contradiction in what Biakuga just said, and he made it clear to everyone. Oh boy, I have to make sure I select the right thing. The element has been added. <clears throat> Not something we'd like to hear more. <laughs> What's this breakdown right here? Yeah, please share with me. And connect the dots. They're adding all these new elements to these trials. So you said Yakia was acting weird before we found the body. Yep. But he was acting weird. How? If you're presented with the opportunity to check out the girls' locker room, <laughs> this did you for me. Is that's a natural reaction for any guy? Is, Biak is Togami going to agree with that? The was Chihiro, who was a girl. So of course I would suggest we check the girls' locker room first. There was no time for pointless distractions. Well, we didn't know who the victim was, so it's, so it's that one. About that. It's that one. Okay, so that's like that and one. So you said Biakia was acting kind of weird before we found the body. Right? He was acting Watch weird. I mess this up again. <laughs> Shut up, you me, man. That's unnatural. The victim was Chihiro. Who... No, it's wrong. Yep, okay, okay. Okay, I understand it. Okay, I get it. I'll tell you what's so strange about that. 
because up until we actually discovered the body, yeah, we couldn't have known who it was. Yeah, that's okay. So was. okay, I was I was following along. So your claim that you went to the girls' locker room first because Chihiro was the mm -hmm. victim doesn't hold up. I see. <laughs> yeah, I like how they move that's their head on the side there. I must admit, it's a logical answer. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> but your reasoning is still too weak. I'm my reasoning weak. Huh? What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead, show us. I hate this guy. Wait, what's with the attitude? It's like he doesn't even care. I've got him cornered, but he's acting like it has nothing to do with him. You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. <laughs> Yo, this dude, I hate him. <laughs> there is. I think. Makoto, don't don't sweat, there man. There is more to it. Thank you, Kyoko, for the reassurance. We just talked about the differences between this case and past Genocide Jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. This case and past ones. The differences. Yeah, we know about the things there. The cord. The cord. The um wire used to suspend Chihiro. Difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? <laughs> Please explain it. Yeah, that has to do the body arrangement. Chihiro was suspended with... It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Obviously, somebody okay. else must have had it hidden away somewhere. Look at him back turn. I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Nope. No, get no. <laughs> Dang it. I'd never seen that rope before in my life. There you go. No, it's wrong. Uh huh. You've seen that before. You've seen it, man. I've seen it. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Mm -hmm. Because you see that rope, or should I say, Makoto great building cord? making a build up. What? Mm -hmm. Extension cord. Yeah, none of these other people actually like look at the crime scene, do they? I killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? He's doing it again. He's totally calm, uncertain, unconcerned, as if he's not in even involved. Wait, not even involved? What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's Shut what up! Oh, yes, that's what happened. Thank you, Mondo. It, right? There's something that's still bothering me. Is that right? And what, pray tell, is I killed her. I really don't like this guy. I don't want to hear him talk, man. My crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Wait. What was that just now? Something's not right. Chihiro's body was definitely found in the girls' locker room, but that does that mean? Can I really just accept what Bianca said as the truth? No, I don't think so. There's definitely something off about what he said. The scene of the crime, the extension of Genocide Jack's presence. Yeah, the scene of the crime. The girls' locker room. You say you killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? Yep. Yeah, because the things were switched. What kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointment, this is a true letdown. Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, mm -hmm. then carried there later, along with the rest of the murder scene. Uh huh. The rest of the murder scene? Hey, I've gone sweating. That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying yep, that. Yep, everything was switched. I believe I do. Ahaha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Makoto, you got him. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Yep, okay, let's got We got this. We got this. There was a couple things. Well, there was always the posters. First of all, we have the posters, and we could talk about the carpet sweat. Or coffee spill. I got it. The proof that she was killed somewhere else mm -hmm. is... Your proof is some posters? The poster in the girls' locker room was a picture of a big boob supermodel. 
<laughs> Don't the way you he think said that's that. kind of strange? Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? Maybe they're into that. <laughs> and there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Right, Sakura? Sakura. You're referring to my protein coffee. Yup, the coffee on the carpet. Protein coffee? While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. Hey. But I mm -hmm. noticed that Got after the, the carpet, murder, yep. the stain had been totally scrubbed mm -hmm. away. Yep, the rugs were also switched. No, that's not the stain that was scrubbed away. It was moved. Yeah, to the boys' locker room carpet. Yeah, mm -hmm. this the almost had me with that outfit carpet there. Carpet wasn't mm -hmm. away. In fact, they moved all the whole carpet just carpet. to prove they didn't murder someone. That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. I didn't know protein coffee was a thing till today. Why would they go through all that trouble of switching? That is a good question. Is he right? Could you really have gotten to the boys' locker room somehow? Hmm. Okay. So I, we have to go back to the broken, um, broken, 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 uh, it was broken E1, and then we have that one, so, okay, let's go, let's, let's go through all this first. What do you have? Hacked her E handbook. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What? What thing? Yeah, what? I'm talking about Leon's handbook. Of Ooh, course. yep. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker Dang. room. No this problem. dude's actually kind of on top of it. Hey, yo, we just made 40 followers. <laughs> hey, awesome. Handbook, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hiro, Hiro actually like saying some stuff. He's, no, he's actually I don't think Chihiro used like Leon's he's actually handbook. paying attention. Like he's Why actually not? thinking in a way. Because Leon's handbook was broken. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that it then? She was killed in the girls' locker room, and Bianca is the one who really who did it. Really, but still, I don't know what else I could do. Hold on a second. <laughs> hey, Kyoko, I thanks. Agree with you, though. I think you're on the right track. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth, and that's what you've got to <laughs> so say. So keep them in quiet the whole time. There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. Why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Like what? You're doing? <laughs> what we're leaving? <laughs> don't worry. This will make the whole trial more exciting. Ooh, I'm sure that okay, Kyoko with you. those adjectives. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Mm -hmm. Well, all right then. <laughs> I declare an official class trial recess. Huh? For real? <laughs> Just like that. Now then. Okay, let's go. This is kind of fun. Yeah, we're leaving this, this room to go somewhere else? Okay. We've already searched this place top to bottom. What are you trying to pull, Missy? You trying to pull, Missy? I'd like you to Let her explain. The body one more time. You want to check again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. The entire body carefully. Take your time. Very well. Okay, soccer would do. Okay. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. What? No one should have to touch a dead body to begin with. Like, what kind of logic was that, though, Hina? Be sure to check her entire body. And I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Mm hmm Her entire body? I know you say that, but... What? This is... What is this... <laughs> okay. What is it? Not possible. It's not possible. Yo, you about to turn into Super Saiyan? Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This... this girl is... Is what? Is... a boy! Yo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yo! Ah, I see. So, she was actually a... Mm-hmm. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. <laughs> I was wondering what, why Hufumi was like chilling. 
Whoa. So that was something I already knew of. I was spoiled to that, like, I mentioned this in the past room. I was spoiled to that fact a while ago. I, I didn't know they were going to reveal it like this. Yo, she had, he went with the reach. Oh, oh. Oh, what? You guys didn't know? Oh, the Kuma, Heck, come on. Right off the bat. You could have helped us with that, at least, but you don't care. Sure. You just found it entertaining. Was totally a guy. Which explains a lot of things. Why they didn't hang out with the girls a lot. Why they didn't want to go to the locker room with them because they couldn't go in that locker in the girls' locker room because they were a guy. I don't know his reason for hiding it, mm -hmm. but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. Once the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Mm -hmm. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list True. his gender as male, then yes, that would but be But we true. don't know where the handbook is. We haven't found the handbook. <gasps> His handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, the Monokuma got no that confirmation. There we go. Initial assertion. Mm -hmm. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room and was then later moved to the girls' oh. locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. Sayaka or Junko? Yes, the other girls' handbooks. Yes. So uh huh. Really was killed they could have borrowed it. Room? Yep. Okay. I still don't that makes sense. The motive for moving the body. After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya is the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya huh. is the one that made Chihiro's death look like genocide. Jack did it. Yeah. But, but I, I think he might not actually be the killer. So if he's not the killer, who killed them? What? Who is what the actual killer? The one who accused him in the first place? Yeah, I yeah, I was. <laughs> because he seemed seems... to be too easy going about all this. Yeah. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. What is happening? The way he's acting, it makes it seem first, like it doesn't have anything this, to do this with it. This is a this whole trial. I first thought it was Toko, then it turned out yo, Toko is genocide Jill. Then I thought it was Togami trying to frame her, but now it's not Togami because we're learning some other stuff. So And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? So then Plus, if the it's not them left behind was a Yeah. Too... Plot twist after okay, plot cool. twist. Over. He consciously chose to use the extension cord. Yeah. Knowing it could connect him to the murder. Mm -hmm. At least that's how I That's see how it. I see it as well. Like all these connections the make it points at him. He found out the murder took place in the boys locker room. It seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy. Yeah, what's up with that? If you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but it's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. Yeah, mark me correct? What, this is a test? Screw you. I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. Nani? Are you fucking with us right now? Yeah, what? No, I am not effing with you right now. I'm telling you the truth. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then... Why? Why do you do that to his body? No, 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 no. We gotta pause for a sec. So this dude moved the bot. What the heck? This dude freaky. What the heck? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? This will make things in more interesting. What? What the? But if Byakuya didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who murdered Chihiro? There's only one thing we can be sure that we do know about this killer. The killer was able to gain the real murder scene, was able to access the real murder scene, which means the killer... The real murder scene was the boys' locker room, so the killer is a guy. I need to find some more clues. Okay. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? Well, they sure spin that like that. Saw the killer, they would have said something by now. I'm pretty Perhaps sure. Someone saw the victim at some point. Mm -hmm. So that's the. Yep. Yeah. All we need right now is Okay, let me not from. select anything yet. It's over. It's all over. You want to <laughs> know who giving saw up? the victim? The killer. And only the killer. 
second, it's not like they're just gonna turn themselves in. Game over, man. Game over. Mm -hmm. Yeah! No! Not uh -huh. game over! No, as a matter of fact, there is an eyewitness, yeah. All we need right now is any kind of movie. Nope. That was the wrong one. Single clue it's a single clue? Nope. Wrong freaking. I keep selecting the wrong things! And only the killer. Yeah, but I wasn't only the killer. Okay, I'm following. I always mess up with these counter selecting things. I believe someone else did see the It's like I know that I know the answer, but I don't know which one to select every time. Yeah, okay. you mention it, yes. I did see him. Yeah. Really? Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, for real. <laughs> for real. Yo, she wasn't about to say nothing. She was about to be quiet the whole time. Right before night time, I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. Mm -hmm. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. Yeah. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. Mm -hmm. But we didn't find anything like yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. We don't know where that stuff is. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. Uh huh, destroyed them. And that is when you said something that struck me as rather odd. Well, I better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro in a hurry. He was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Yeah. And we don't... Who were they close with? The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. <laughs> I love this part of the song. can't even guess. No. You already have what you need to make the connection. What? Huh? You know who the killer is. Seriously? Who, who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed track of. Track jacket and duffel bag. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. The jacket they took. It was a track jacket, so... I, I don't know at this point. I'm gonna be honest. Yo, I, I don't know at this point. First of all, we know where Chihiro was heading. He was on his way to go exercise. Yeah, we know that. Okay. So next we have to ask... Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? Oh man. What do you mean the specific But then again, okay. I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. Hmm. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? Blue tracksuit? My tracksuit is black. <laughs> you be quiet. I don't even have a tracksuit. Because <laughs> exercising sucks. I have a white tracksuit personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer? I didn't care about any other tracksuit. No way. Not a chance. It was a blue tracksuit though. Wait, Celeste never said the tracksuit color. Mondo! No way! Wait, hold up. I gotta play this through again. First of all, we know where Chikiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. Whoa! So did she actually say the color? She just said tracksuit. Why did he choose this? She never said blue tracksuit. Track Mondo did. mentioned a blue track for the real? Track Whoa! The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as Yeah. No, it's wrong. Or no that's oh. Mm-hmm. Mondo man. Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you mm -hmm. just say? Huh? What I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... I saw him stuffing a tracksuit into the duffel bag. Now I assume he headed off to Exa. They never said the thing. never said anything about the jacket. He tries... Oh. He did! Yo! He slipped. So he slipped. So why you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you... You just... Wow. Hey, no so way. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was, was blue. Yo, that is insane. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? Mm -hmm. The only one I told about any of this Story was you. me. Wow, Mondo. Because I, I just, 
I just, I, I, I stuttering. Investigation. Mm hmm. No, that can't be. It. He can't be because no one knows where it is. Clothes were surely disposed of by the time we began our investigation. Just by chance, I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. The, yo. No, that can't be it either. According to Celeste's testimony. What? She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely Probably in the bag. bag. So after then, you wouldn't have seen the bag. If you just ran you wouldn't have, or the track jacket. Yeah, you wouldn't have seen it. Have seen mm -hmm. You wouldn't have known the color. The suit was. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would appear you dug your own grave. <laughs> For real. Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions oh. about him from the very beginning. Do tell. How, how did you know? Yeah. <laughs> what made you so suspicious? <laughs> we talked the way he was acting because I hate him. I don't know. This is literally a guess. Because I hate him? He was acting? I was... Uh, I'm, okay. Well, he's acting weird? There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. I was not even paying attention to that. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him oh, as dude. Mm. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something mm -hmm. we didn't. That would only be after, okay. Yeah, yo, I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm not the frightful one. You speak. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you showed so much care towards him and then the betrayal. Mondo, was it Man. you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I, 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 uh, I didn't kill anyone. You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting wow. words in Wow, dang, this is kind of sad. I, <laughs> Yo, dude was it was cool, but what gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Man, I feel bad about this one. <laughs> this one kind of hurts. Yeah, okay. You would never do something like that. Oh, like they accusation. they made a bond too. It's <laughs> true. My reason. The bond overnight in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he from me. He had cut. something. He did say he had That's something. What my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Mm -hmm. Weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Huh? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, no. Now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Yo, speak up. I'm Jeez, tired of you, man. Mom, you just for real. You you it's had fine, you man. were the grand voice us. and everything, like if, speak up. If you really insist. I then... insist. Is that it Shihiro? Here? It must belong to. It's mine. It's Mondo's. <laughs> it's Shihiro. I got it. We know Shihiro's handbook was mm -hmm. missing from the scene of the crime, right? Yep. For a fact. For a fact, indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. busted. Okay. Turn on. The yeah, they were like indestructible, as Monokuma said. Do you think there might be some kind of mystery in there somewhere? Ooh. How okay. Did the handbooks get broken? broken. Mm -hmm. How did they? How did they break? There's only one possible explanation: by hitting a bug, hitting its weak spot, by hacking it. Hacking it? Yeah, he told us it's impossible, so then it has to be the <laughs> other one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Once I selected I was like, wait a second, he did mention that. <laughs> so then, so then it has to be expo exploiting a bug? Shoot. Okay, I'll take those L's. I'll take two L's. I'll take that. You already <laughs> told us before that the hand yeah. He did mention that we he mentioned that before. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? Yeah, what's that? You're asking me? I mean, you don't mention it, so I think it's a necessary piece of information <laughs> if you want this to be a fair trial. Uh-huh. Then allow me to make a special announcement. 
The weak point of my cutting edge e handbook is. Okay, what is it? What is when it? When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown. The sauna. And totally break. Monokuma said he didn't tell anyone, right? He found out from experiencing Indeed. it in there. Quite the mystery. Yep, they're, they're challenged. What if they found out by accident? Mm hmm. What do you mean by accident? What if the killer took their own handbook into the sauna, not knowing its weakness, and, and it broke? broke. Yep. Yeah. They'd realize it was broken, of course, and it wouldn't be hard to figure out why. Yeah. And once they had Chihiro's handbook, yeah, be easy they to knew they the had an easy That's way there. to dispose of it. I might know someone who did. Whoa! Uh -huh. Seriously? I think the yep. one who may have taken their handbook into the sauna was... Yep. <laughs> Yep, only he... Man, he really is crying about it. He's the one who... Whoa! I almost selected that by accident. Yeah, he's the one who wore all of his clothes to the sauna. With that little... <laughs> he had the Mondo, towel on his head. And his hair. got broken in the sauna, didn't it? What? Why? Why do you keep accusing him? Sorry, man. I'm sorry to accuse your bro, Mondo but... Taka had an endurance contest in the mm -hmm. sauna not too long ago. Remember? He said, I'm doing it fully clothed. Like a crazy person. And for the contest, Mondo just so happened to keep his school uniform on. <laughs> Do Mondo crazy. But little did he realize, he'd also left his handbook in one of his uniform pockets. Mm hmm And when it was all over, Mondo discovered that taking your handbook into the sauna could easily destroy it. Uh-huh. No, wait, hold on. You've got it all wrong. He would never kill. I don't accept this. Show me the proof! Man. The actual solid proof! They really did bond over that night in the sauna. I mean, I don't want to believe it either, but... But I found something that proves it's beyond a shadow of a doubt. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have, to, I have to do the rolly thingy. Okay, no, I wasn't ready! Let's oh wait, oh wait, I can let it play out for you. Okay, man, I'm acting if like I had like a minute. <laughs> let me relax. Then Mondo, you broke your own handbook. In other words... If Mondo's handbook is actually broken, then that proves that what Makoto said is right. Right. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine! Does it actually work just fine? See? Look! Makoto was wrong after all! Wrong? But Mondo wouldn't hurt a fly! Okay, I'm sure Mondo's handbook broke during the Sonic Shine. If we could just prove that... Then that will be will show the handbook model. He just has to show his Let's handbook. Test Makoto's assertion. If what he says is correct, then Mondo. Well, my goddamn handbook works just fine. Thank you. No, and... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I always miss it by a little bit. Mondo, okay. The handbook you have right now. Mm -hmm. Is it really yours? yours? It is broken. It means that he must have Chihiro's handbook then. What I mean is, I think Mondo swapped mm -hmm. his handbook out for one that actually works. I think he took Leon's handbook. Oh, Leon's and handbook. Never mind. Yeah, because we know about. Yeah, what am I talking about? After I'm mixing all, up things. Monokuma said himself that Leon's handbook mm -hmm. never should have broken. It never should have. Yeah, that's, right. that's true. The punishment okay. it suffered wasn't nearly enough to destroy it. He's proud of that. You are wrong. You have to be wrong. Everything you just said is wrong! You made it all up! Okay, then why don't we look back on this case one more time? Can we just see his handbook to prove it? That way, everything will become clear. And say that's and Leon's we'll then? I was right or wrong. Okay, so we gotta play it out. A few moments later. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay, let's go through everything. Let me make sure I got everything right. <laughs> Yo, this part is... <laughs> No, I didn't want you. <laughs> I, admit, I accidentally right clicked. Oh boy, hopefully I did everything right. I don't want to do that again. Nope, nope, nope. No! Wait, was that the, that's that my last life? Uh, yeah. Is this really the end for all of us? Dang, do I have to start from the beginning? Or do I have to do that one section again? Okay, I just have to do this ending again. No, what I happened? right clicking by accident. First, let's take a look back to the fort. Jeez, I keep right clicking, Last man. Night, so at the time. <laughs> okay, let's see if this runs good though. <laughs> let's see if this. What? That this is the third time. <laughs> Yo, third time's a try. Third time. Third time. You know. Uh, hopefully, this is good.
It's okay. It's okay. Okay, we know about all this. We know about all this. We know about all this. <laughs> the elf. Simple, which is why. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They pick that up. It seems likely. I hope. Your fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay. You do that, hit them. Blood splatters. And that drops that. Nervous. It was likely in the heat of the moment. Did that. Which is why the killer hurried to try and then removing. Then okay. And finally carrying the corpse into the girl's locker room. A girl's handbook was necessary, but this alone doesn't So then they did that. Sayaka and Junko's handbooks have okay. been placed in the Okay, hall. that makes sense. Okay, okay, I follow. That makes Using sense to me now. Those, a boy could get into the girl's locker room without much problem. Is this one right? Then they put up the poster, then they placed it now. Okay. Exactly how the I think did. I don't know, that's what was messing me up, is I was thinking they would first place them down, then put the poster up, but they showed it this way, okay. Okay. Okay, that's nice. They change the layout of the boys that and ugly girls poop stain on the ground. Looking like it's supposed to be a coffee stain. A <laughs> scene switch. Uh huh. And this dude Togami said, Could let me play been around. But Miyakuya discovered the body and decided to intervene mm -hmm. in the situation. <laughs> Making things even more complicated. <laughs> Okay, that's the. So after stumbling on the crime scene, it was that one section that was that was it was just that one thing. It was that one thing. Well, I see if the rest is correct. He used the cord to string up Chihiro's lifeless body. And he grabbed their own blood. That's the, that's sick. Then Yaku got the victim's own blood. He left a grisly message there at the scene of the crime. He wanted to. Okay, let's see if the rest of this is correct. Okay. Okay. And around the same time that Biakuya was putting together this facade, the killer, having already disposed of Chihiro's bag and other belongings, arrived at the sun. There, mm -hmm. they planned to destroy the last piece of evidence. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to click. And it was broken. Okay. Okay, so all that makes sense. Okay, y'all, thanks for the help for this one, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it was that so one area, and I guess that one would have been wrong right there. I started overthinking things, the switching things around. Man. Couldn't stand up to the heat of the sauna. And the reason they knew that is because the sauna had already wrecked their own handbook. Yep. And that's how it all played out. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. We got him, man. Isn't that right, Mondo Arata? <laughs> had called out for him by his full name. <laughs> Mm-hmm, Taka. That's the case. Yeah. Where's your evidence? You need evidence. You need proof. This dude's really trying to prove it's not him. But if it's not him, then we'll all die. <laughs> Fever time and what? Show me some evidence. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. False. Show me some evidence. If yeah, this is just a rhythm game. Wait, am I doing this wrong? Oh. Okay. Okay. I refute you. You're corrupt. Okay. Show me some evidence. I won't listen. Okay, I have the ultimate between right and left. Okay, let's see if we could do this on one life. I have a heart. You're wrong. I won't listen. I refute you. I thought it was only right quick. Okay. Okay, we got this. I won't listen. False. I refuse to vote. Show me some evidence. You're wrong. Ooh, okay. Show me nervous. Oh. Yeah, you did that, man. Yeah. 
There we go. When thinking so far is right, mm -hmm. Mondo must have replaced his broken handbook with Leon's. Mm -hmm. In which case, we can just check each of our handbooks right now. Once yeah. we do that, we'll... We don't gotta do that. Oh, dang. He's gonna just accept it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He said, I'm gonna go out. If I'm gonna go out, I'm just gonna confess. I did it. Mm -hmm. I killed him. Wow, what? That's how it ends? What's most of my ending score? A B? Dang. I got an A overall. I'll take that. I have no choice, man. After hearing all that, I gotta just give up. Mm. Go ahead, Monokuma. Get it over with. How's he gonna die? Ask for the goddamn verdict. Roger that! <laughs> he said, say no more. Wait! Hold on! No waiting! No holding on! Time for the moment we've all been waiting for. Grab mm -hmm. your lever and give it a yank. Yep. Who will you elect as the blackened this time around? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Yeah, I'm going to choose the wrong one after all this. Oh, looks like you got right this again? Oh, okay. Yes, it is. So the black one that killed Chihiro Fujisaka was... Ta -da! Mondo Wada. Man, <laughs> in case you're wondering, the vote was not an unanimous. Kyoto, of course, chose the wrong answer. You're treading very close to danger zone, Mr. Ishimaru. You need to be more careful. He refused to believe it and then, jeez, even through all this, he still wanted to trust his bro. What? What is this? <laughs> why are you apologizing? Why, 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 why? <laughs> Why did he do it? Yeah, we don't know why. Well, I guess. Well, then, yeah, we still don't know what everyone's CDs or DVDs had. So, looks like Miss like Mondo's taking a vow of silence. So, allow me to explain on his behalf. Actually, the story of the murder this time is the sad story of two men. He had an extremely inferiority complex, inferiority complex regarding his own lack of morality. You're so weak, even though you're a boy. He'd heard things like that as long as he could remember, but he couldn't overcome his weakness. On the contrary, he tried to hide and buried himself further and further into that weakness to take on that fragile form of, uh, of a petite young girl. Yep, he had chosen that as his own way out. Mm. Um. Now, nobody will be able to say anything about even though you're a boy. Okay, okay, I see where. Okay, I understand. The complex didn't disappear. Instead, it only grew stronger and stronger. Once the killing game had begun here at the school, he had no choice but to accept this fact. Okay. After all, this world is full. World is is survival of the fittest. If you're not strong, you don't survive. And then the lovely and hateful Monokuma announced the revealing of the emba yep. embarrassing secrets, yep. Which of course includes Chihiro's embarrassing secret, which I was more than willing to divulge. Even though he dresses like a girl, Chihiro is actually a boy. Hey, um... And that was something Chihiro couldn't let anyone find out no matter the cost. If that was revealed, it would be the end. The hardened shell would crack, the armor would fall away. Without a doubt, those around him would torture him more than ever before. Everyone figured being thrust into such a dilemma must have sent him spiraling into despair. What? And yet... Uh, I'm sorry. Hmm. They don't want to talk about it right now. But... But also don't want to leave the things as the way they are. So maybe I could talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I could tell everyone. Okay. Yeah, they were willing to, you know, tell everyone about it. Annoyingly, he used the threat of discovery to motivate himself to become stronger. Okay. That's right. Now's my chance. If I want to change. Mm -hmm. And accept, get stronger, yeah. Strong enough so that when someone says, even though you're a boy, I'll, I'll be okay. I'll be get better. With that thought at the front of his mind, he resolved to take immediate action. And so, that day he made the commitment to begin exercising. He was prepared to retrain his mind and body. But sadly, that would be the first and only chance he would get at it. Mm. The day hey, they decided to um... do it was the day that they were killed. And the person he went to yeah, that's right. was Mondo. <laughs> yeah, for sure it was. <laughs> the, way laugh. the biker gang fella had been painfully clear about how important his manly promises were. So Chihiro probably figured that even if he confided with Mondo, his honor would make him keep the secret. And he did. Uh -huh. Dang, Mondo was willing to give, the, but then he 
killed them. Plus, Macho Mondo was very was the very symbol of a strong man that Shira had always aspired to be. Aspired to. Maybe talking to Mondo about it will help him give him give me some courage. So he went and asked Mondo to help him become strong. And so Mondo carried Shira from the boys' locker room to the girls' locker room. Indeed. Yes, exactly. What? Um, wasn't the cover what he'd done? Certainly. But that wasn't the main reason. The real purpose was to keep the promise between men he'd made to Chihiro. But... How does moving the body yet? Because... If everyone knew he'd been killed in the boys' locker room, then everyone had been arguing about how she got into the boys' locker room. Okay. Once that started up, at least a few of us would have immediately begun to suspect his identity. So, he tried to protect Chihiro's secret by putting him in the girls' locker room and stealing his... Okay. That's respectable. Even though, you know... You still killed them. Like, it's, because no matter what, I didn't want anyone to know. I knew it. His secret? So that's what triggered it, after all. Your embarrassing memories is like exposed. What? What is this? That's impossible. Nothing could have been that bad. Something he didn't want anyone to know, even if it meant costing, it meant killing someone. Was it really to his brother? Wrong. It's impossible. Don't make me repeat myself. How many times must I repeat myself? Okay, to judge others by your own standards is the height of folly. Yep, you did say that, and I did agree with that, because everyone's like, Oh, it's a secret. Mine isn't that bad. <laughs> Yo, everyone else freaking out? Even if you can't comprehend it, he obviously can. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> well, while we're on the subject, why don't I tell you? That embarrassing memory, that secret he didn't want anyone to know. Hey, um... You know what Mondo did? He killed... It was his brother. He killed his own brother. Wow... <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> he said, you're gonna die anyways. Hey, I'll tell everyone that you killed your bro! Mondo's only brother's name was Daya Owada. Mondo had nothing but respect for him. It was because of Daya that Mondo ever got on a motorcycle. Mondo's brother was his only family growing up. He was the only one Mondo could trust or respect. He wanted to measure up to his older brother, so he Im imitated him in everything he did. Okay, Mondo's epitome Epitome, <laughs> epitome, was the epitome of the starry-eyed kid brother. Okay. Meanwhile, the correct charismatic older brother had put together a local motorcycle gang. And before anyone knew it, it had grown into the biggest biker game in, gang in the country. Daya, the older brother, number one in the gang, and his number two, his younger brother Mondo. In the beginning, everything was peaches and gravy. But when Mondo started to think about how he would have to take over the gang from his older brother, from his brother someday, his brother's greatness, his reputation began to grow, began to gnaw on Mondo's very soul. The kid's gonna take over for Daya, huh? Daya created this gang with his bare hands. Mondo's just along for the ride. Can someone like that really be our leader? All they will do is make the gang look bad. <laughs> Most every day, Mondo heard the gossip and whispers of the other members of the gang, which is why. I. I just. Guy gets stronger than Daya. One, once, just one time. No matter what, I gotta win. Don't fuck with me. I don't care what it takes. I just gotta come out on top. And on the night of his amazing brother's retirement ceremony, Mondo challenged him to a street race. But during the race, tragedy struck. The kid brother pushed to the head with reckless abandonment, eager for victory, and dashed on into the oncoming traffic. But suddenly. Wow. He pushed him out the way. But you make it sound like you... I mean, okay, I see what they mean when you say he killed him. But he didn't, like, direct... I thought I thought he, like, pushed him into the tr truck instead. But no, he saved him. Laying in his kid in his kid brother's arms, the little brother delivered his final words. My bad, kid. I messed up. Sorry. Of course he knew it was his brother's fault. But Daya never blamed him for what happened. Hey, kid. The rest is up to you. No matter what, you gotta keep the game together. Cause it's the team, you and me, put together. It's a a promise between men. Dang. <laughs> he decided to hide the truth of what happened from everyone else in the gang. In order to keep the game together and keep the promise to his brother, he could never admit to anyone that it was his own weakness that had caused the accident. And as a result, Yep, the team was made even stronger under the banner of the kid who bested his brother. Wow! Daya was going to lose to his kid brother. He got so he got so stupid and got himself killed. 
That became the explanation for what happened. Mondo's lie became the truth. He wanted to lead the team so bad, he was willing to tell all kinds of lies about his brother. Mm, that's messed just... up. I'm strong. Yeah. A strong liar. <laughs> as soon as, the, as our killing game began, he realized, no matter how tough he pretended to be, he was just another weakling that could die in an instant. After I saw what Munakuma had on me, my head filled up with all kinds of fuzzy uneasiness, and just started and it just started swirling around. I never felt something like that before. I just didn't know what to do about it. I wasn't sure what to think or say, but after a while, that fuzzy uneasiness turned itself into a rock-hard lump of anxiety, weighed down in my stomach. And it was right around then that Shira asked me to start working out with him. Seriously? Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? Why now? Why are you telling me this all of a sudden? Huh? Because, I mean, you kept that secret all the time, right? If anyone found out, you would... But... You're right, but... I want to change. I wrap myself up in lies. I'm weak. I want to destroy that version of me forever. Oh, okay. I see what they're doing with the story, Alan. I like it. I like that. His words were like a knife in my gut. I felt like he was exposing a lie I'd been living I'd been living myself. I have to change. I don't want to be weak anymore. You're so strong. It can't hurt you, right? Wow. Whatever secret Monokuma might tell us. You piece of So what? You're saying I should just say it? What? You're saying if I really what? am, I should just be able to tell everyone my secret? Huh? I was jealous. I was just what you hear with strength. He had the strength to face his own weaknesses. To his own weakness, to try and overcome it. It's the kind of strength I've never had. I was so jealous of him, and that jealousy broke me. What? Are you making fun what? of me? Oh, I'm strong? Are you messing with me right now? No. I'm not making fun of you. You really are strong, Mondo. I felt like I could hear something starting to creak. Something inside my head. What did he want me to do? What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to sit? What was I, what was I supposed to just sit back, let my secret get revealed, and ruin everything? What's wrong? Mm. Damn you! Why did you have to tell me all that? Are you trying to rub my failure in my face? Oh man! I, I just wanted no, to. I just really admire you. Oh man, this is sad. I admire your strength. Yeah, that's right. His str ah, that's right. I am strong. Strong. I'm strong. Strong, 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 strong. Stronger than you. You son of a bitch. I am stronger than Daya. Wow, that is insane. I remember anything after that. When I woke up again, he was lying at my feet, covered in blood. I had the dumbbell in my hand. I was just staring at him, down on the ground. Monokuma getting a laugh out of this. Look at him. You see? You're just like him. For a secret from the past, for a memory, for that, he killed another living human in the cold blood. He couldn't cut free from his regret from the outside world. He doesn't know what true strength is. Do you see hope anywhere in here in there? Cause I sure don't. Dang, Monokuma rubbing it in his face. Sorry, man. I couldn't keep the promise we made. Dang. From one Ouch. to another. Dang, I did not expect Mondo. <laughs> hey, I like the way they show this though. Okay. Oh. Oh, what? Okay, so he's tied on the motorcycle. <laughs> Yo, Munakuma. Yo. <laughs> Oh, oh! So going on one of those things, and they just keep cage of death. Hmm. Okay. And of course, he bound. He. Oh man! So he's just gonna keep spinning. So what's gonna make his head explode?
what? <coughs> That's messed up. <laughs> That's <laughs> yo. Did they really turn them into butter? <laughs> like another murder, another execution. I want to feel again. Everyone's lives are taken so lightly here. I feel like I might be going mad. Maybe I'll just let it happen. <laughs> wow, Makoto. Yo, that's mentally breaking him. As Taka's sad screams fade invaded our schools, we were each forced to realize once again. But he, of course, he had to. <laughs> this dude Togami has the worst timing. <laughs> what a disappointment. This is the end of the game. <laughs> but Yakuga. You're completely insane, you know that? A game? One of your friends is dead, do you realize that? And the fact is that, dude, you are tampering with the whole crime scene, playing around. Naturally. Should I make it more interesting? Which he did, but, like, because this is a game is, is a life or death. Hey. I have anything to say to you. I have any response, except that I, I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crimes? What? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I made things more interesting. This dude trying to be like a host of- He's trying to be a host. <laughs> I spotted Mondo coming out of the girls' locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. You mean you actually witnessed the murder? He was such a fool. He didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen him. So you're saying you knew who the culprit was from the very beginning? Indeed. But if I had been the, e been the end of it, how boring would that have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it would liven things up. You used all that to liven things up? I see. So after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that to create a fake murder scene. But, but dang man, if we hadn't figured out who really was done, you would have been dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously, I would have revealed the truth before. So dude said, yo, I'll play the game with all y'all. But if it comes to, I'll just, I'll, I'll save us in the end for laughs and crap. What the heck? You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? Our question is, why? <laughs> Do you like them? But you know, this punishment, this despair, it's not just for you. All this punishment, punishment, all this despair is my gift to mankind itself. What? You're exaggerating. Yeah. I am not exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to stand alone as the victor, and then everything will be revealed to me. Ooh, yes. Ah, the noble Sorry. son of the noble family. Truly, under you understand me. Hoo <laughs> You try to be like uh, Rodolf. <laughs> I think <laughs> this is the star of a terrifying friendship. That's Shut up! I'll never suit to the level of childish criminal like you. Let me just say this. After I have achieved complete victory, you're up next. Ooh! I'm going to find you and kill you, understand? In the name of my family. In the name of the Togami family, for which victory is a foregone conclusion? You're getting all right Yo! I'm not going to lie, that was kind of cool. Yo! Oh, so cool. It's like you're the main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you. I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. <laughs> Ooh, Tepper, Tepper. Sounds like someone needs a nap. <laughs> Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom and the court enclosed on the case of Chihiro Armando. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue. <laughs> it, huh. Probably kind of would, yeah. Because the mastermind would ne wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind blind puppy in heck in hell and in heck <laughs> and more of a future okay all that courage our effort our friendship it felt like it amounted to nothing at all it was the worst kind of despair oh well, the heck? anyway like i was saying this is a pretty good spot yeah a really good spot 
pause? Anyway, <laughs> isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Mm. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. Who is this, by the way? The pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. Your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? And who is this? Well, no biggie. You Nothing were supposed to make the first now, move. So just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's what everyone wants to see. Everyone wants to see. So who's watching? There's one thing I'd like to ask you. As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away. Who is it? The 16th high school student, I mean. Yeah, because there's that extra seat. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Mm -hmm. My, my. You really took me by surprise there. Mm -hmm. I know I said you could ask anything, but... But... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied. Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. Ace in the and hole. And nobody be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their friends. Hmm. <laughs> hmm? Huh? <laughs> Chapter 2 Boy's Life of Despair. Mm. The end. Wow. Are we down to 10 people? That was an insane trial. Yeah, but it makes sense. Yeah. It's like you get the title. It's like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, why would I not save it? Oh. <laughs>